Hi everyone, it's Dot and welcome to week 21 of my final 50. Last week I hinted that I was reading something that would help me reach my goal of giving up alcohol. As you know, I've had some setbacks. While I haven't gone cold turkey, I am making progress. I'm drinking a lot less. However, I still am struggling to say goodbye to wine. Thanks to the book I'm rereading, I think I figured out what's going on. It's called Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield. Stephen Pressfield is best known for his books, The Gates of Fire and The Legend of Bagger Vance. And he's also written motivational books for writers. And Turning Pro is one of them. So I know you're thinking, how can a book written by a writer for writers help you with weight loss and your health? Well, it's all in the writing. The stories he tells and the way he tells them I think can help a lot of people. And according to Stephen Pressfield, the root of most of our problems comes from something he calls resistance. Resistance can be external, say friends or family, or internal, self-sabotage. And that's what the book primarily focuses on, the internal resistance we all have. And resistance from within is far worse than anything external. So what is resistance? It's our self-doubt, the negative voice in our head, the baggage of past failures we always carry with us. It's the battle we do with ourselves that keeps us running in circles and we don't get anywhere. He describes resistance as an oppressive, invisible force. It hates achievement, success, and ambition. And the worst part of resistance? It is always there. It greets us first thing in the morning and it hangs around all day until we go to sleep. We battle it every day. How we battle resistance divides us into two classes of people. On the one hand, the amateur. On the other, the pro. The book philosophizes, if you will, the many differences between the pro and the amateur. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna hit on a few of them that he describes that really hit home with me. A pro seeks mastery. They have the knowledge to do what's right. They apply it and they test it. They make assessments to see what works and what doesn't. And then they tweak their plans and repeat the process. And you might remember, we talked a little bit about this last week. The amateur also has knowledge and knows what to do. They just don't apply it consistently. In my case, I know drinking alcohol stops weight loss, yet, I'm still an amateur. Amateurs are part-timers. That means when they show up to work, they take a lot of breaks. From a weight loss perspective, think of the person who eats low carb for four days and then they have cheat meals for three days. The pro, in contrast, shows up every day. They recommit themselves daily because they know the temptations are always there. Amateurs love quick fixes. When trying to lose weight, they'll give up if that scale isn't moving fast enough. The pro is committed to the long haul. They know becoming healthy doesn't happen overnight. The amateur will push everything off until tomorrow. They'll make a mistake and eat something wrong and just think, well, today's shot, and then they go on a binge. Pros take their health seriously. They do the work now so they're healthy tomorrow. When dieting, the amateur is the king of the excuses. A hard day at the office, a long commute, the kids are driving them nutty, or they're just too tired. Anything goes when you can give in and do the wrong thing. For the pro, there are no excuses. Long day at work? Oh well, it's time to make a healthy dinner. Pressfield says the amateur taps out at the first sign of trouble, but the pro will embrace adversity. According to Pressfield, all you have to do to turn pro is make a decision. Yeah, it is that simple. Now, I didn't say it was easy, and he doesn't either. Once you make that decision, it requires a constant rededication. Every day, every hour, every minute. I know what you might be thinking. I can't do that, that's way too hard. But it is possible. And it's not uncommon for people to turn pro, but then later on fall back into amateur territory. I remember the day I first turned pro. It was February 15th, 2012, and I was standing in front of my bedroom closet getting dressed for work. I decided then my health had to be a top priority. And that decision really simplified my life. Because as I said, it is a simple process. And by that, it's not complex. It's just not complicated. It's just hard to execute. So after the decision, what next? Well, that is when the real work actually happens. The very first step is to admit you are an addict. Hold on, let me clarify what I mean by that. Stephen Pressfield defines addiction as repetition without progress. For example, we go on diets, break them, and then do it all over again. Another step in turning pro is ignoring the opinion of others. And this is one I'm struggling with right now. 
I'm actually concerned about what others are going to think about me giving up alcohol. Oh no, is she an alcoholic or something? Ooh, she thinks she's better than us. Which is sort of dumb to think that. I mean, who cares what they think? I'm doing it for myself, for my health. Another step, which I love, is embrace ambition. Stephen Pressfield says to act upon ambition is to embrace the unique calling of our souls. It's ambition that gives us the drive that fuels us through those hard times. And when you're trying to lose weight, there are plenty of them. I'll give you one more step. Cut out the distractions. One of my favorite quotes from the book is, the amateur tweets, the pro works. I know I've tried to cut back on social media, but it's very easy to look at my phone and the next thing I know, a couple of hours have flown by and husband comes home and I don't have anything for dinner, so we go out. That's just such a waste of money and it's a waste of my time. And I know if we go out to eat, I'm going to have a couple of glasses of wine. When I first turned pro in 2012, I had an aim, a, a, a true north, if you will. That aim was my health. My life was really at risk. But now that I'm healthy, I'm having a hard time trying to find a new true north, if you will. When it comes to wine, it's all about the social experience for me. When I'm at a party or out with friends, I tend to have a couple. And yet, if I have just one glass of wine, I know when I come home, I'm going to experience hot flashes, insomnia, an upset stomach, and foggy thinking. Well, who wants that? The answer? An amateur. And here's a little secret I've never told you. Before I went low carb, I was seriously researching owning my own wine store. Heck, my husband and I even invested in a friend's business that funded the wine portion of that business. And I've come to understand that giving up wine means I'm giving up that dream. And that sort of makes me sad. I mean, I have given up a lot of dreams in my life. So what I need now is a new true north. And it has to be longer lasting. And for me, it has to be something a little bit more important or noble, if you will, than just losing weight. Back in 2012, it wasn't about fitting in a little black dress for me. It really was about saving my life. Over the last year, I've come to discover that that noble aim has been staring at me in the face. It's you guys and this channel. It's all those daily questions I get in the comments and emails I receive. So many of you are dealing with health problems, infertility, how to get started, or just the fear of failing. You name it, and it's everything I've gone through and I'm still going through. Now, I can't offer medical advice, but I can at least share my past experiences, both good and bad. I can't think of a true north better than helping you and your families improve your health. I, I wish I had that when I started out. I mean, I had books, but it would have been nice to have more of a community. So that means I'm recommitting myself. Today's the day I'm turning pro again. And with that, let's see how I did this week. So last week I weighed 207 on the nose and this week I weighed 206.7 pounds. That's a loss of 0.3 pounds, but it is 0.3 pounds in the right direction. Now, before we go, there's a weight loss podcast I discovered that actually did a couple of episodes on the book, Turning Pro and how to apply it to your weight loss journey. I'll link to those two episodes below. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see all you pros here next week. Bye for now.